Lord. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest whose line is it anyway moments. This one wants more coins. <laughs> for this list, we're looking at the most hilarious scenes, segments, and segues from the US version of the show where everything is made up and the points don't matter. Do you agree with our picks or find our points matter as much as vows at a celebrity wedding? Sound off in the comments. Number 10. Serenading the Lunch Lady for the uninitiated, Whose Line has its fair share of musical-based comedy, running alongside the off-the-cuff gags. Generally speaking, the singing duties are handled by resident chanteur Wayne Brady, who also featured on the original British incarnation. Beyond the improv scene, Brady is an accomplished singer as evidenced by his stints on Broadway, as well as a remarkable freestyle rapper. Do you like it when you spoon out the food? Do you like it, Lee? He provides our first entry to this list by managing to create an entendre-filled sensual serenade to Lunch Lady Lee on the spot. The unofficial gauge of humor is how Drew Carey falls into uncontrollable laughter, right around the lyric referring to spaghetti and two meatballs. It's Friday! It's the best day of all! Because you get to have a little spaghetti and two great meatballs! Number 9. Batman Comes Out while Wayne Brady tends to handle the song styles, improv world staple Colin Mockery will usually handle the press conferences. Have people been treating you differently now? They have treated me with a mixture of awe and disgust. Uh, but of course, I'm used to this, uh, being in the political world, so... Uh... This is a game in which a performer has to answer questions from the other three cast members in character without knowing who they're playing. Uh, how's the partner feel about this? Well, of course, he's a little worried because he depends on me for a lot of the income. Only when they've deduced what their character is and what they're doing does the game end. One press conference saw Colin playing Batman, delivering the news that he was coming out of the closet. I marvel at everything that you have been doing up until this point. Have you? Yes. Yes. More of a comment than a question. I'm glad you're doing this. You can't hide in a cave for the rest of your life. That is so true. As well as the hilarious reporter monikers and their respective press labels, the clues were brilliantly worded. Will you still continue to slide up and down the pole? As always, Colin stayed in character right to the end. Not as much because I have bruised my dynamic duo. <laughs> Number 8. You Got Soul You are my soul. If we continue to use Drew Carey's uncontrollable laughter as a measurement for how funny a Who's Line moment is, then clearly this entry has earned its place. <laughs> Carey wasn't even hosting when this three-headed Broadway star game went completely off the rails. They were supposed to sing a song about a given topic one word at a time, but Ryan Stiles, Wayne Brady and Drew Carey are almost completely incapable of navigating this nightmare. And take me on a... Oh, sorry, one word. <laughs> Singing multiple words at once, breaking up words into syllables, and then just losing the plot altogether are part of what goes wrong here. Can't you... What? <laughs> it got so bad that Drew couldn't even end the segment leaving Ryan to take over. <laughs> Number 7. Jet Skiing Richard Simmons This is my favorite game, how about you all? <laughs> he may have all but disappeared from the public eye, but the eccentric and flamboyant fitness personality has cemented his status as a Who's Line legend with only one episode. Richard Simmons, everybody! Richard Simmons! Simmons, who seemingly has an endless supply of energy coursing through his veins, was in fine form as he made his way out to an ecstatic live crowd for song styles. Yeah, 
However, a grateful Simmons returned later that episode for a, well, shall we say, suggestive game of living scenery, wherein he played all the props, including a telescope. Hey, why don't we look at the scenery through the little telescopes ahead? All here. right. <laughs> Again, as Carrie's inability to keep it together demonstrates, it was Simmons' jet ski that sent the moment into hysterics. <laughs> Number 6. Colin Shouldn't Rap We've already established that Wayne Brady is the musical heart of the show. The opposite end of that spectrum really is poor Colin Mockery, who, well, just isn't a musical guy. How does food become poo? <laughs> I'll tell you! He is an extremely funny one, however. Hey there, everybody! Hey there, slugger! Put up your hands, I'm a friendly mugger! In fact, when Colin simply accepts his shortcomings, including his well-documented inability to rap with any sort of discernible rhythm, he manages to make comedy gold. Give me this guy! Give me that thing! Woo, I'm crazy! Inadvertently becoming a running theme, Colin's lack of hip-hop prowess has been pointed out by the man himself as well as his forgiving co-stars. People who shouldn't rap. Oh, boy. <laughs> Number 5. Ryan's Carol Channing Talk about serendipity. Who's ever holding the canteen is Carol Channing. <laughs> While Colin can give a great press conference and Wayne has the voice of a vengeful angel, Ryan Stiles brings his own unique skill to the table with a particular impersonation. I'm Sparty Kids. <laughs> Ryan's party trick is that he has a dead-on Carol Channing voice, and it's been used to maximum effect thanks to suggestions from the audience. If Carol Channing were president. <laughs> I never made love to that woman. The Hello Dolly actress has appeared more times in Whose Line than she did in movies. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Ryan's impersonation is so good that other guests will often do an impression of Ryan's impression, instead of a direct facsimile of the original Hollywood starlet. Nobody looks more like Carol Channing than you do. <laughs> Number 4. B. Robin Williams Though the show had been in existence in some form for nearly two decades by this point in time, many of us were introduced to Whose Line Is It Anyway during Season 3, as the legendary Robin Williams entered the playing area. Cut, cut. I'm really having a hard time staying in character. I know you are! Despite filming one hour photo at the time, his hair is bleached blonde, the actor managed to join in for an episode that no one could ever forget. You're off to God! You're clear to run through! Jam is the man who can really mess with you! Partaking in scenes from a hat, Hollywood director, and more, Williams looked truly at home. Well, surely you must be the son of God! <laughs> Truthfully, we could probably devote a separate list of moments from this particular appearance. Simply take our advice and watch the whole thing from start to end and be reminded of just how one-of-a-kind Robin Williams really was. What Robin Williams is thinking right now. <laughs> I have a career. What the hell am I doing? Number 3. A Smashing Performance During a game of party quirks, each improviser is given an envelope describing who they are to play and it's up to the guest to determine who they are. Hi, come on in. We have thank you for inviting me. <laughs> but one particular party took a surprising turn. Ryan, playing Carol Channing, whose head keeps getting stuck to things, careened crown first into the neon light on the face of Drew's desk and shattered the glass tube. Yet Ryan, who isn't sure if he's bleeding from his scalp, doesn't break character for a moment. There's it's nothing worse than having a depressed Carol Channing at your party! Not we are no, it's like, oh my lord! <laughs> In fact, he turns the whole thing around. Even as the other cast members stop playing to check on him, he continues to make it funny, causing Carrie to fall out of his chair laughing. I'm fine, it's okay! <laughs> Number 2. Meow 
Over the years, the cast of this show have made no secret of their disdain for the often censored Irish drinking song, a round whereby every performer has to sing one line of the song and rhyme the second and the fourth. Lost track of the story. I don't know what has happened. He wrote me a letter. My underwear is snapping. For a song based on calling out the wrong name in bed, itself carrying the potential to be censored, Drew threw a garbled second line for Ryan to rhyme with which he did with gibberish. One night I was getting freaky with my girl Elaine. Boy, we had some fun. And then, uh, uh, uh. The song completely fell apart. The performers corpsed with the exception of Colin, carrying the whole number with one word, meow. I don't know what to say. Meow. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Backstreet Boys Colin Mockery and Ryan Stiles were regularly invited to the original British show, and their rapport and real-life camaraderie continued on the US version. Yet despite their ability to perform together with a near telepathic understanding, it's the moments when they're not on the same page that elicit the most laughter. What kind of bird always says the name of our next band? During a game of greatest hits, Ryan posed a riddle, expecting Colin to answer Owl. This would be a segue to the band The Who, but Colin's answer was unexpected. An arctic turn? <laughs> and what sound does an arctic turn make? This threw Ryan off completely, causing him to laugh uncontrollably for the whole segment. Poor Ryan never recovered. That's wrong! <laughs> well, why don't you tell us what's right? right. <laughs> I was thinking an owl. Oh. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.